Hi guys, welcome to the first RAFBOT tutorial. This character has not been set up before, so all settings are default. First we select the leader from the drop-down list, or automatic. Selecting automatic, as we've done in this case, will find the first tank in your current party. If there's no tank assigned, it will select the first party member. Uh, that can be anyone, it may not be the right person, so ideally you would select a specific player that you want to assign as your leader. In this case we're just going with automatic. The additionals button over here will set the follow distance. The default is 30. Let's set this to 7. This will follow your leader no more than 7 yards behind them. Next we want to assist our leader. Manual targeting means the slave is responsible for targeting. If, if this was um, running as a leader, then manual targeting would be the preferred option. But as we're assisting our leader, that's what we need. Personally, I prefer to use full combat movement. Full combat movement means the bot base is responsible for movement in and out of combat. As such, you need to disable movement within your combat routine. In this case, I'm using singular. This ensures there's no conflicting priorities between the combat routine and the bot base. You don't want them both fighting over movement. All these settings are fine. Looting and harvesting. Enable this however you want. No other settings need to be changed. Default settings are fine for the most part. We're going to leave the advanced settings as they are for now. No other settings need to be changed. We can now close our options window, start on a buddy, and it will happily assist our leader.